What is dude behind you? Dude! Dude! What? Oh, shit! Oh, dude, don't, come on, don't come at me with that knife. They, oh, oh! God, she just stabbed my leg! Dude, what the hell? Yeah, this one's not easy. He freaking leaks, like... Oh, we did it! Oh, he's gonna explode. Run! Oh, we did it. Whew. Uh, is that Not A Hero DLC? This is actually the End of Zoe DLC. We've already beat Not A Hero earlier. But we're going to play it again later tonight with no commentary on. So I'll just, like, be in the chat. Um, chat with you guys while I play it. I probably won't chat too much because I'll be playing, obviously. But um, I want, like, a clean version of the footage if I can. Oh, boxing effigy. Nice. So this is the end of Zoe. This is the other DLC that it comes with. Uh, this one you had to pay for, though, unless you bought the season pass. I think if you bought the season pass, this was free. I think. I don't know for sure. But uh, the Not a Hero is free, and we we played that earlier. And the only reason we played that first, I was going to save it for second, but it was in the storyline, it was first. Um, it, like, it, it takes place before this. So I was like, all right, let's just go in order. So what up, Deadeye? Thank you for being here, dude. He, he is just big boned. <laughs> Crawfish is the best seafood. Nice. Got a lot of seafood fans in here. At least Ryan is for sure. Uh, the homie, what is up? I miss you, Deadeye. How's the power now? Who has the power? How's the power now? Or who has the power now? Power has been on, and now I am sick. Oh, you had power outage? No shit, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Everything's back on now that you're good? Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't know, man. I apologize. I'm sorry for not keeping up. Well, let us know how you're doing, dude. Zoe. Oh, the horses. That's from the beginning of the game. Jeez, well, who's pulling all this stuff? Why are they why are they grabbing Baker stuff? Oh. Oh. Okay. Get him. Jack? What the What? Say what? That fucking cockroach won't die. Gross, it is Jack. Don't you remember your brother? How is he still alive? Oh my goodness. Don't do it. Don't you touch him. I thought we cured him. Like what? Uh. Did he put us in a coffin? How the fuck can you do this to me? Get me the fuck out of here, Jack! No way! Oh, crap. Why would he do this? He's a monster. Like He's like a monster monster. Why would he not just rip us in half? Why would he bury us and try to drown us? Yeah, week of no power felt like the dang dark ages. Dude, I'm so sorry you went through that, man. I'm sorry, dude. Well, if you need any help with anything, let me know, dude. Just send me a whisper or send me a text. You got my number. If you need anything, dude, just let me know. I won't treat you like Jack Baker's treating his brother right now. I'll treat you better. You're my family, did I? You're my brother. <laughs> Game logic, yeah. Feel better, best friend. Really glad you have power again. Yeah, me too. Oh, whoa. Um, umbrella boats. Okay. Whoa, what? Jack Baker still alive. 
Well, that's something I didn't see coming. I figured. Well, so uh, now I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to start nitpicking again. But it's like, then what was the dream sequence thing where it's like you saw regular Jack and he's like, um, you know, I'm sorry, we're we're stuck. We're not bad people. My son Lucas isn't either. It's like, well, yes, Lucas actually was a bad person. So you clearly didn't know your son. Thanks for the misinformation. I don't think I'm supposed to fight here. Like that. Yoink! We're running. Thank you, Seek. Uh, Stan Jamalee. Jamalee's the best. What's this? Umbrella. What Advanced multi purpose gauntlet. Want to fancy toys? Ready for use. What the fuck? What's happening right now? Well, I'm not gonna nitpick. It just saved my life. Okay. <laughs> so we... The guy who's been punching the whole time conveniently found a glove that is perfect for fighting out in the woods. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Umbrella's there. It's like, oh, it's just tech from Umbrella. But still, it's very convenient. <laughs> whatever. At this point, seriously, whatever. <laughs> Boom! Oh, gotta wait. Whoa! Hey, this is the... This is the swamp house, right? For the bakers? It looks like it. Uh, you mean Kangaroo Jack? <laughs> you are now the Iron Fist. <laughs> Gauntlets and old evil times. It can beat anything and everything. Well, this one certainly kicks a lot of butt. Um, that's hilarious, though. How very Evil Dead and over the top, uh, but that's okay. That's kind of what this game was like. That's the tone of the game. But yeah, we're back at the Swamp House. This is where Marguerite, you fight Marguerite and stuff. Anything useful in here? I was hoping for a... I know, I know there's a save, but I was kind of hoping for an effigy, dude. What are those? Joe Baker, fourth grade. So, where's Joe's shit been this whole time? Like, I literally feel like this guy is just shoehorned into the story. <laughs> it's just like, they're like, oh, you know what? We'll just make a, a brother. And you know what? We'll make him a grandpa. We'll make him look like a, like a Santa Claus that can fight. And we'll give him dog tags. And we'll, 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 <laughs> we'll make him overprotective of his family, even though no one talks about him at all uh, in the storyline. <laughs> and why Evelyn didn't know that there was another, like, Baker around after taking control of the minds of Jack Baker is I don't know, whatever. It, again, I think a lot of this is just it's like, hey, don't read too much into it. It's just it's just a, you know, it's not meant for that. Alright, we got centipedes to eat. Yummy yum. Oh, that's cool. And that's where they were in the game when you crawled through there. That's awesome. Big shotgun. That's old school Resident Evil shotgun shell cases there. Stay dead. Stay dead, you headless freak. Of course Umbrella has been dumping millions into punching technology. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, he did. Whoa, so someone... What's, what's with the bars? Like, someone came through here and tidied this place up and found stuff. Look at this.
That's dope. Oh, I was kind of hoping to go through here. Nope. There's a flaw in this gauntlet. It won't let me go where I want to go. That's where most of my money went, John Lee says. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. Is he dead? Yep. <laughs> he blew up. Oh, hey, look. Nice. I guess he's at the Baker house, so we probably should go the other way, but yeah, I was kind of hoping we could jump down here and find some more secret stuff. That's cool, though. Gotta be up ahead. That's cool. One of my first experiences with this game was actually running through here when we, uh, when I met, uh, well, I, thought I, I know I told this story a hundred times, but when I met Joe after work in San Francisco, uh, they brought a Capcom brought us up there to play the Lantern demo, and we, on the Mia tape, we ran down this thing, so... That's kind of cool. Sweet. All right. Anything? Oh! Got a little tense out here now. Uh, let's get a nice little wide shot of this. Look at this. Oh, and there's the camper van where uh, Zoe was. Whoa! Oh, that leads into the house? Shut up. What did happen here? I guess that Jack Baker came through here. Lost inventory has moved to the item box. That's cool. Crawfish. We've finished analyzing the tissue samples believed to be from Jack Baker. The cells exhibit an extraordinary resilience, resilience to physical and chemical damage. The E-series mutamocyte secretes a telomerase-like telomerase enzyme through the cell wall, causing abnormal activation of the ERK pathway to achieve forced cell division, quickly regenerating damaged tissue. However, the repeated cell division quickly leads to breakdown in the intercellular structure, leading to the sloughing, slurry-like effect we've observed in the collected tissue samples. Our working hypothesis puts this down to the cells reaching their hayflick limit. Note that the samples from the other family members, like the wife Marguerite, the son Lucas, and the daughter Zoe, do not exhibit the same extreme regenerative properties. The symptoms may differ from subject to subject for the study required. That's weird that in Jack it has that. I mean, Jack was, though, a, a healer. Like, we fought him the most in the main game three times. But at the same time, Lucas could regrow hands and still look normal. So that's really weird that Lucas wouldn't have that effect. Oh, what's this? Product, uh, product name AMG78. Developed to assist in the transport of heavy equipment and uh, supplies. When worn, the wearer's nerves impulses are detected and synced with an actuator, allowing max output to exceed 50 horsepower. State-of-the-art shock absorbers reduce all recoil experience by the wearer to zero. Technical specifications, blah, 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 blah. So that's about the gauntlet, huh? Crazy. Um... Money well spent, John. He says, so wow, so who wields the inf infinite gauntlet now, Seek? Um, oh, so Seek wields the infinite infinity gauntlet now. Oh, I see. Uh, I guess so. Just with the power stone, though. Not with all the other ones. Um, I guess, is that hunk? Yeah, I guess not. I keep asking every soldier if they're hunk. <laughs> I'm like, are you hunk? Are you hunk? He's got to be in this game. No, I'm kidding. When you start getting your hopes up like that, that's where you set yourself up for a big time disappointment. But still, I have them. Hunk, is that you? Hunk? Oh, 
Nope, no hunk. What about you two? Any of you guys seen hunk? Point me to Tofu. To tofu knows where hunk is. That's right. Uh, best shot was hitting the tentacle when it was out swinging at you. That was my, I was trying to do that, but like, cause I, as soon as, as soon as I would see him charge up, I'm like, okay, release yours now. Because if you're close enough to hit him, it'll stop him from hitting you. But sometimes he, he just kept hitting me first. Like even when I released, I timed it. I was like that first time I did it, I was like, all right, I, I saw that timing and it didn't matter the second time. Where's the other one? It's right here, right? Okay. All right, we'll try again. Uh, so how much time has passed from the main game? I think it just says weeks. So it just says a couple weeks. So I don't know what that, you know, if it's two weeks, three weeks. See, I let it go. He's got like Ouroboros or something. I don't think I'm healing. He's got a third attack now. His hits are... I can't see. Oh, this is it! We did it! Holy crap, that was luck. That was luck. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Slow motion eyeball. Oh my god, I think he's cheating. Can we clone Wesker so we can continue some campaign? Oh, that'd be nice. Down for a Wesker clone. Okay. Well, I mean, I would say, yay, he's dead, but I feel like we've been there before. Where'd Zoe go? Oh, shit, there she is. Oh, man, that was... I'll be honest, I thought we were going to lose that one. I couldn't see him at the end there. And I realized in our first battle with him, when he killed us, I was like, why am I not just Sorry. swinging wildly? I was good at that before. Sorry. So if I couldn't get a charge in, I was just going, da 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 Tapping away at him. What happened to her? Are you okay? Oh, I'm she's alive. About me. It's all over now. Joe, why do you got a robot on <laughs> How long have I been asleep? Go, go, go. Don't move! Get your hands up! Get down! Whoa. Weapons down. Oh, there's Chris. What's Chris still doing here weeks later? It's all right. You must be Zoe Baker. Who the hell's asking? Chris Redfield. Been looking all over for you. Oh, good. He didn't just say Redfield this time. See, Capcom? Learning from your mistakes. 
I'm Redfield. I'm here to help you. It's like, no. You're like, I'm Chris Redfield. I'm one of the good guys. I was trapped with those monsters for three years. All of them trying to kill me. I can't believe it's finally over. Gotta know. Deep down somewhere, they will steal your family. I'm sure that's... I'm sure that's hard for her to do. Her her mom and dad like beat her up, like Lucas beat her up, like she was tortured. Found her. She's a tough kid. Of course. Hang on. Is he talk Why is there one on the phone in this game? Zoe. Zoe. Zoe, are you there? It's I call hacks. I Grifter says reported. Wait. Who is it? We both did. You didn't forget about me. I told you I'd send help, and I always keep my promises. Thank you, Ethan. Oh, what? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice little. Cause yeah, I kind of made Ethan look like a dick. Ethan and Mia, they're like, oh, we got out. Um, that's why I was thinking this. I was hoping this took place right after, cause then Ethan could just go as he's flying off in a helicopter, like, save Zoe. She's still out there. Save her. You know, or something like that. But I guess he did tell Chris about her, so. Sweet. All right. Difficulty. We died more times in this than we did the Not a Hero one. Well, it's because Chris Redfield's a badass. And this old fuck, he's fine, but. <laughs> he's fine and all, but. He ain't no Chris Redfield. Time saved 10 times. Punch is thrown 571. 12 stealth kills. 30 healing items. Effigies obtained 11. Champion effigies 4. Is that. I feel like that's the max, right? There's probably. I probably missed one champion effigy. And I, I probably missed four regular boxer effigies. Because normally it would be an even number to get an even percent of additional boost. Um, cool. Extreme challenges unlocked. Complete all challenges to obtain the Spirit Blade. Challenges will activate once you pass through their starting point in a difficulty mode you've already cleared in End of Zoe. Challenge details can be found in stats from the pause menu. Ooh. Difficulty. Joe must die. Oh my god. Will be added to End of Zoe. A weapon, the, the gauntlet, will be added immediately, as well as a shotgun. Wow. Well, our next playthroughs of this are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Grifter, thank you for the cheers, dude. Promises kept. Achievement unlocked. Beat it on normal. Uh, John Wee says, yes, punch has landed 12. <laughs> yeah, punch has thrown 571. Punch has landed 12. That would have been awesome. Um, all right, guys. Well, this is going to be it for my streaming for now. It's only 6 p.m., so chances are, and I don't think I work till to tomorrow afternoon. I'll have to double check my schedule. Actually, I'll look right now. But I um, we'll come back on tonight and we'll play um, either some of these bonus modes or we'll play um, we'll play something. We'll we'll figure something out. Uh, but I yeah, we'll we'll have more fun with this for sure. If I do any of the bonus modes, we'll do it with the commentary. Uh, but if I decide to just play through it again on easy mode, we'll do it with no commentary. But one way or the other, we'll get through it. Uh, so thank you as always for tuning in. I appreciate you guys very much for watching later on YouTube. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Peace. All right, let's check out my my schedule for tomorrow. Punches landed twelve. You're fucking hysterical. Um, all right. Thursday. What's my name? Oh wait, tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Holy shit, yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. Um, I work 2 to 10. Shit. Long day. Um, all right. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll stay up tonight. We'll play a little bit more. It is 24 hours of Resident Evil content for me, so now that I'm not streaming, I will go back to um, finishing editing a couple of videos for YouTube, and I'll post some stuff up on YouTube, uh, and then also Instagram as well to let you know what's being posted on YouTube. But today, I think just alone, I posted... Let's see what I posted on YouTube. I posted... Um, a 24 hours of Resident Evil video just explaining what the day is going to be about. We did six half hour episodes of our first playthrough of Resident Evil 7. So you can see all my original reactions to everything at, 
at that point in that playthrough. I uploaded two episodes of Res Evil 6 that I played the Chris campaign with our friend Lil C. And I always wanted to save that and me and uh, Kitty's playthroughs of those um, of Resident Evil 6. So I'll be po I'll be re-downloading those and posting them up on this channel today. So you'll see more episodes of that probably by the end of the night. Resident Evil 5, I have the first three episodes of that posted as well. So there's already been like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hours or half hours of content put up. And my goal is to just keep it going. Every hour or so I've been posting stuff or streaming live. So it's been a fun day. We started at midnight last night and we've been going strong. Four hours of Resident Evil content from me. Um, you guys have been great grifter. Again, we owe you big time. Everyone send grifter some love. New control because of him. We were playing destiny last night and me and him were up late. Everyone else I think fell asleep and uh, my controller was really not working very well. And then when I tried it again uh, this morning, actually, uh, it was definitely like I couldn't move down up nothing. So I was like, okay, the, the joystick completely went out. But luckily this came last night, courtesy of grifter who picked this up for me for $35 on Amazon and then rush delivered it to me so that we could have it to play for this day today. So dude, big time. OU. you, uh, my goodness, that controller. It's so blue. I know I love it. Oh, it's so awesome. It's really cool. And it's really smooth. Like the plastic is really smooth. Um, it's, it's, it's so new. I love it, but yeah. It, and it's just, you have to keep it on the chart. Once you unplug this, I lose you guys. You can't hear me. Uh, I have loose connection. There's no battery in it. It doesn't charge. It's just meant to be kept in all the time, but I'm okay with that. Cause like I said, I sit pretty close to my TV anyway. Um, Grifter, you magic human. Oh, he's the best dude. He is the best. Um, but I'm going to go, I'm going to let my roommates have better Wi-Fi, hopefully to record all their podcasting and, um, or whatever they need for that. I'm going to go now, but, uh, I agree. It is awesome as hell, John, but we will, we will come back on It's six o'clock now. So plan on like maybe somewhere between somewhere around nine o'clock tonight. We'll come back on and we'll play two more hours, maybe three of Resident Evil uh, to end the day, to get us up to midnight. Um, and then in the meantime, I'll start posting them on YouTube so you guys have plenty of content to watch. And then a lot of these I'll start posting on Twitch. I just didn't want to do too much today because my computer can only handle so much, my laptop can only handle so much and it will slow everything down and I wanted to make sure I hit my deadlines. All right, I'm streaming at this hour at noon and then streamed again at four. I just want to make sure I keep hitting those, hit at nine. So I'm just going to upload just to YouTube today. Literally just dropping in to say hi and I love you, Joe, after work. I love your face. It's, it means so much more to have you here for 24-hour Resident Evil day because you're my Resident Evil brother, man. You're my best friend. Um, peace, y'all. Hi and bye, Joe. We love you. We love you a thousand. Thanks for being here. Everyone, make sure you follow each other. 1K is a great streamer. John Mali, uh, Final Pie is a great streamer. Thousand Hours, Draco, like all, everyone in here, share some love, become friends, and we'll see you all later tonight. Peace.